Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 314. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 307 to 315. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about converting trues and falses to ones and zeros. Now, there's a few different ways to do this. You can multiply by one, double negative, add zero, or divide by one. Now, um, this is important because for many array formulas you have trues and falses and you need to convert them to ones and zeros to either do some data analysis or add for counting or something like that. Now when you're learning this for the first time you're like what? How does this work? So this is just like a way to, to quickly do a little exercise where you can teach yourself that yeah this is true. I'm just going to go equals true. Uh, control enter I can see that that just gives me true but if I hit F2 and times 1 I can see that that converts it to 1. Let's try this equals double negative true this is another method enter oh that did it how about equals true plus 0 oh that'll do it and equals true divided by 1. Now there are different circumstances where you can use, well you use each if you're comparing double negative and times one double negative oftentimes is faster calculating so for, so for big spreadsheets it matters sometimes you actually have to do uh, some division or the formula has it divided by one so you don't even have to do anything uh, there's some other examples also but there it is there's four ways to get your trues and falses let's look at an example of each in a formula I want to add Sue's sales. I have a criteria here. I have uh, the, the range here that I want to add. So really I want to add 1 and 3. But our criteria is from this column. So we're going to use uh, the sum product formula. And now our true false uh, criteria we're going to ask is this range right here equal to this? Right? But highlight this and hit the F9 key and you get trues and falses. Control Z. Now you need to put parentheses around it if you want to convert them, those trues and falses, because we need to have all of them inside and multiply one times each. So times, or uh, this one will do double negative, since that, that ultimately is the, the fastest and best one in many circumstances. Now comma, and an array, we want this array here. And the sum product will actually take, it has some trues and falses, the double negative will convert them to ones and zeros, and then the sum product will take this um, range of numbers, there's three of them, times this range of numbers here, and multiply them, sum product. So control enter, and there it is, four, it added uh, the three and the one. Now let's run formula evaluator, formula evaluator is up here formula auditing evaluate formulas evaluate watch this it's going to evaluate it gives you the uh, names and then trues and falses and then the double negative will convert them to ones and zeros oh it didn't show us though it didn't show us that last step here let's do it this way go like this and hit F9 and then I'm going to go like this and hit F9 so now it will multiply them and you highlight the whole sum product here and hit F9 and sure enough it shows you 4. I'm going to escape because if you hit enter right now it will put that 4 in. Now let's do that same formula but multiply. Control C, escape. Click here F2 to put it in edit mode. Control V. I'm going to get rid of the double negatives and right inside the sum product you can multiply. The nice thing about using the sum product in this situation is you don't have to use the array formula keyboard shortcut control shift enter. You just hit enter or control enter or tab for that matter. And this will calculate. It'll multiply. Um, actually these will be trues and falses but that multiplying times this other number here will uh, convert them to numbers and then the sum product will add them. So that's multiplying, that's double negative. Now let's try a plus 0 and a divide by 1. All I want to do is say equals, is this cell equal to this cell right here? That's a logical formula that will deliver either a true or a false. It's either equal or it's not. It is. I'm going to hit F2. And now you got to be careful here. If you multiply by 1, watch this. It's not going to work. It gives me some value there. F2. I'm going to put 
close, well, the reason why it's giving you a value error is because this word times this number uh, is an, an error. You can't multiply a word times a number. But watch this. You put close parentheses around here, and sure enough, that'll evaluate to a true false. And, and multiply that times 1 will give us a 1. And by the way, if, uh, um, if you know the order of precedence, comparative operators comes after multiplying. And so that's why it gave us that error. That's why we have, we're forced to put parentheses around the equal sign, the comparative operator. We, we parentheses are saying, no, no, do that first before you multiply. All right, so that worked. I'm going to do the same formula here, equals this. Is that equal to this over here, close parentheses, divide by 1? All right, so there it is. Three ways to, con or four ways to convert trues and falses to ones and zeros. Actually, I better type sue here just to show you that the false will work too, right? So it'll give us a zero when it comes out false. All right, we'll see you next trick.